everyone, it's Skye and today we are going to be finishing our five color challenge color along from Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Halloween book. So super excited to finish this image. She is coming along so nicely. I am loving this color palette. Um, it's pretty amazing what you can do with five colors. But today we're going to be introducing some new colors because I allow myself to use skin tones. So we're going to finish up the background and then we're going to do her skin and then just the final details. So the background is going to be pretty simple now. Um, we are basically just going in with black and basically um, just coloring the background. Depending on how long that takes, I might end up speeding it up. Um, if it's not too long, I'll probably just leave it and hopefully you guys won't mind. But uh, let's get started. Alright, so there is our background for the most part finished. I'm not even sure if I want to put stars. I might just leave it. I'm not sure. I like how dark and kind of creepy it is. Maybe we'll put like a couple stars, but we're definitely not going to outdo it. Um, so now the last thing to color is her skin. And I'm just going to zoom in here as much as I can. Okay, and... I kind of want her to be super pale, so we're going to be doing a very simple skin tone, and it's going to be kind of an unusual skin tone as well, but I think it will be really nice. So I'm just going to sharpen my white pencil here and just make sure that I don't have anything, any other color stuck to it. Okay, and I'm going to sharpen my other pencils here. I want to have really sharp points on your pencils. Okay. I'm also playing around with giving her eyelashes, but I don't want to ruin her. So, first color we're going to start with is a blue a violet lake. And I'm going to take this pencil and I'm just going to lightly start marking out the shadows. Okay. 
So I'm basically going to follow around her face. with this blue color. And I'm going to keep a blue line going around everything. And I'm going to fade it out just slightly. I'm going to kind of take this blue and I'm just going to do a very thin line just following in between her eyes. It's probably so light you guys probably can't even see it. I'll see if I can bring it close enough for you to see. I'm not sure if that helped at all, but hopefully you guys can see it a little bit better. So what this blue line is going to do is it's just going to kind of make it look like her face just kind of slopes in a little bit here. I'm going to put quite a little bit of blue on her cheeks. So I don't want to put blush on her, but I do want to kind of give her a little bit of warmth in there, which is funny because this is a cool tone, but <laughs> hopefully it'll turn out good. Um, so I'm just going to put like a little bit of shadow here where her cupid's bow would be, and then on the bottom side of her nose. And I like that. So our next color is lavender, and what we're going to do with this is we are just going to put it over top of the blue, and we're going to bring it out a little bit. Okay. Sorry about that. I um, can't remember what I was saying, but we're basically just going to take this purple, put it over top of the blue, and then fade it out. Give her kind of a little bit of cleavage here, just a little small V above that pumpkin. So again, I'm going over everywhere that I've put the blue. Okay, now that we're done with that, our next color is light peach. And I'm going to use this to pretty much go over everything. I'm going to use this to burnish our shadows.
think I'm going to use this color too for our highlights. So I think I'm just going to kind of color over everything with this color. I'm just going to quickly take my blue and just kind of go over her cleavage there. So it's a little bit of a different color than the rest of her skin, and it would look kind of funny. So there's her skin. I know it's kind of pale, which is what I wanted, but at the same time it won't be as easy to follow for you guys, unfortunately, because my camera doesn't really want to pick it up. But for the most part, it's fairly simple. All you're going to do is Again, you're going to put blue pretty much around everything. I put a little bit of blue on her cupid's bow, um, under the curves of her ears, uh, the bottoms of her hands and stuff, and then I just went over that with the lavender. Brought the lavender out a little bit and then went over everything with the light peach. So it is fairly simple. Um, one other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my black and I'm just going to very, very lightly just create a little bit of a shadow at the top of the inside of her eyeballs here. And then I'm going to take my white and I'm just going to kind of blend that down. And then lastly, I'm just going to take my light peach and just color in the corners of her eyes. Okay, so that's it for the colored pencil aspect, so now we can go ahead and just do our um, accents and stuff. So, basically I'm just going to take my white pen and just create a couple little highlights in her eyes here. Nothing too fancy. And then I'll also... Let's put a few stars in the background. I want to keep the stars really sparse. And to kind of keep them a little bit realistic, I have some bigger ones and some smaller ones. I think that is good. And do we want to highlight the trees or leave them? Let's highlight them. I don't think it'll hurt. I'm going to be really careful though not to place my hand in the ink. If it can help it. And if my pen wants to work, that would be great. Okay, it does not want to work. Okay, let's go on with the Posca pen. Just to be 
be very careful. I think it's dry enough. Also, I'm going to just kind of do a white outline at the tops of the clouds here. Just kind of make them stand out a little bit more against that black background. highlight on her horns on her wings as well and I think I think that is it I think we're gonna leave it like that um, those highlights on the trees though are a bit much so once those dry I'm gonna go back over with the oh it's not the right color with the chocolate Hopefully it's dry enough now. It's very lightly. Go over with the chocolate. And that is just going to knock back the white a little bit so it's not as dramatic. And it'll make it look a little bit more like it actually should be there. Okay, there we go. That is a lot better. Okay, so that is it for this mini color along. I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I hope to see you guys in one of my future videos. Uh, if you did do this color along, I would love to see it. So um, I am in the official Jasmine Beckett Griffith group, so if you want to tag me in there, if you can, that would be great, or on Instagram. All my information is in the description box below. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and, um, I hope you have a great day, or night, or evening, wherever you are, and whatever time you're watching this. Okay, bye!